You can see if it's <laughs> tilted. You're tilted. I know. Tilted towers. <laughs> okay. Carissa and Brian here. I am not Carissa. That is Carissa. Uh, that person parked really crooked. <laughs> We're at Quick Trip. We are at Quick Trip. Who has a Quick Trip? Tell isn't us it, below. Isn't it the best? So before we before I moved to Kansas City, I was like, oh, Maverick is so much better. And then Quick Trip is king. Quick Trip came into my We're life. We're gonna get some ice cream for dinner because that's what we do. Okay, it's not for dinner. We dinner. love dessert for dinner. <laughs> no, well I do, but I know you would. But we're celebrating, kind of. Yes. It's been a good day. Has it? An expensive day, but a good day. Yeah. Babe, it's kind of going up our nose, honey. Well, do I have you, anything in it? You, I don't want them to see my five head. Okay. <laughs> People think I have a five head. I have more of a four and a half. Uh, because they think I look like that guy from Parks and Rec who has a five head. I don't think you look like him at all. I don't. He has a five head. I'm maybe a four and a half. Adam Scott? Is that his name? I thought it was Michael Scott. Michael Scott? <laughs> Just kidding. It's Adam Scott. But I don't know his show name because I don't watch that show. I only like Ron Burgundy. Ron Swan... Swan... Ron Swanson. So that little kid... I can't show him. He was driving the car. He's like 12. Brian's distracted right now. He's obsessed with staring at this kid that was driving a car. So he's not focusing. I'm worried for my life. And his. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go get some ice cream though, and we will be back to talk about why we're about... kind of celebrating. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk some more. There's too many choices. They got these, they have these, they also have some of these. Let me come show you down here. Uh, they don't have those, but they do have these. Oh, they don't have those, uh, the apple fritters, man. Mm -mm. Your favorite. Yeah. We're gonna get ice cream though. So, I never got this. I got a chocolate shake. From Quick Trip. Mm-hmm. You like it? With a chicken dongle. <laughs> Babe, that's the weirdest way to hold it. Well, I don't know how else to hold this thing. Yeah, we got the weirdest combinations. Yeah, with shake, yeah, this is dinner. Uh-huh. Oh, this is... Is that good? I, I didn't realize it was all chicken. Is that something else? I thought I had a chicken outside. This is some dense chicken. Mine's cheese. Mm. Okay. I give it a 5.6 out of 10. One bite, everybody knows the rules. You gotta say it so people know. One bite, everybody knows the rules. <clears throat> All right, you want to tell them what happened? Yes. <clears throat> so. so, hang on. For those that don't know or haven't been able to tell, we have some new people subscribe to us. Thank we, you for being here, by the way. We are a traveling circus. <laughs> Just kidding. No, we share mostly our infertility story um, mixed with a lot of humor. So some people don't like it. I don't care. <laughs> Go find someone else. Yeah, it makes life so much more fun when you can laugh through it. Yeah. Even through the hard stuff. Yes. We get that not everybody's the same way, but that's how we get through life. Um, so not every video is going to be infertility related going forward or miscarriage stuff related going forward because it's just exhausting, mm -hmm. right? Exhausting. So. Um, yeah, we're excited to share more. We more. might be playing Fortnite. Oh we my might... gosh, really? Do you think I could play that? No. I actually decided that I want to try it at least once. Fortnite? Yeah, I at least want to try Fortnite once. When I saw, when I was searching, <coughs> was that too loud? No, I'm just saying one does not try Fortnite once. You can't just like try it once. When I was searching gaming couples, a bunch of these girls came up that they played Fortnite. And I was like, I could beat them, even though I've never played video games like that in my life. When's the last time you played video games, like, regularly? Uh, maybe when I was 10, so 20 years yeah, ago. Yeah, so like Mario. It's been a long, Super Mario. long, long, long time. Mm. Yeah, okay, so anyway, so we just wanna say welcome to everybody that's new. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, I mean, there is a little, little thing below and we would love that, um, but yeah. 
So the big news from today is if you've been following along on Instagram, which I will link in my bio, no, wait, that's on Instagram, which I will link in the description and in the pinned comment if you want to follow along there. Um, we had an IVF. Did you see Something that? Something just came out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. But I was hoping you didn't see it. I saw it. Oh no, that means the camera's off. I didn't see it. I don't know. It's well, you called me out. Because you, you, you did this. <laughs> okay. Is the camera shaking? Because the car? Your, it's just your head. Okay. Okay, so uh, we were supposed to have our next fertility doctor consultation on September 25th. Mm -hmm. But I got a phone call on Friday that said that we could move it up to today. So almost three months early and well. We, we went. We went, we, that's what we did today. That's what we, what we did this morning. We met with the new fertility doctor at a new clinic here in Kansas City. Our third in three years, pretty much. Our third in three years. The so. first one we loved, the second one we didn't. And this guy, he seems legit, <laughs> right? He was very thorough. We talked about more thorough than our history. Others. We talked about what we could do going forward, mm -hmm. testing, diagnostic testing, which I think was really important. Yeah. Um, we didn't leave with a concrete plan, right? Other than the, which we like, because we didn't want to be pressured <laughs> or pushed no. into anything. It was more so kind of like testing the waters, a very expensive <laughs> test. It was a first date. It was a first date. <laughs> Would you have called that person back? Did you get the after date text though? Did yeah, you, I did. did I got the email. Do that? I guess I still do that. I don't know. Did you do that to me? Emoji. No, because you said I see you. That was the <laughs> after date text. Creep. I'm walking through the wood. Through not the woods. Walking through the courtyard in our apartment complex. And she says, "I see you." I thought I was funny. Okay. Well, apparently, don't. Anyways. Don't yeah. flirt like me. So. <clears throat> so. Having kids can be hard for some people. That's what we talk about here. Yeah. It's very difficult for some that we don't know why. There's no reason why. We are five years almost into marriage and just haven't been able to get it going. So. Yeah. But how did you feel about the appointment? How did you feel about the doctor? I was more worried about you, honey, than anything because you've been super hesitant. Uh, I'm still hesitant just because I don't want to jump back into fertility treatments. I don't I'm not in It's it's really hard emotionally. It's super expensive. And cost wise is Yeah, so there's a lot to consider. Uh cost is a huge part of it. Do we trust the doctor now is a huge part of it for us. Yeah. Do are they successful? This clinic has some pretty good success rates. Right. Um so Do they individualize your care? Um I would say so. It seems yeah. At least to this point, it seems so. Yeah. We feel very uh, relieved, I guess. It was kind of a breath of fresh air having a doctor. Um, a year ago, we were in our IVF cycle, which I will uh, link those videos um, somewhere up here. Mm -hmm. And uh, a year ago, we were there. And going from a doctor that didn't really care about, at least in our experience now, if you went to that same doctor and you maybe had a better experience, this was ours. Um, so don't be offended, please. Um, but we didn't feel like we had individualized care. Yeah, and so going to from that doctor that also said he didn't need to look at my history, which is a big deal to me, um, to this doctor that was so curious about all of our history, right? Everything. Yeah. Um, so it, yeah, it was a breath of fresh air. And I really think that uh, if we continue to stay in Kansas City, which at this point is the plan, right? Um, we will, and we, and if we need fertility treatment, we will move forward with this doctor. But the <laughs> debate we have right now is between IUIs and IVF, because we all know if, well, if you've been through IVF, then you know, or if you've looked into it, it is not cheap. Okay. <laughs> <It's like laughs> no. $25,000 $25, <laughs> for one round. That's with the meds. And here's, this is the thing that gets me. We were talking about this in the parking lot after we met. You pay that much money and you're not guaranteed to get a kid. Yeah. Um, you're not guaranteed to get anything, really. Which, it's kind of like gambling to me. It's just like, oh, I'm going to do, I'm going to play the lottery, but, I'm, you know, I'm going to buy this ticket, but there's no guarantee that I'm going to win anything. 
Yeah. Which is crazy to me. Like Especially when it's that much money. Yeah. When you're like a normal person with there, a normal income. There is no satisfaction guaranteed. It's nope. not Walmart. It's not Walmart. There's no returns. And it is yeah. It's expensive. So <laughs> But anyways. I think we left uh I think it went well. Yeah, we have a lot to think about. We have so. a lot to think about. We don't have a, we don't have any set plans. We just feel like we need to decide right now should we be moving forward with IVF if we don't get pregnant on our own, which there is a big wait list to start IVF, or should we start with a couple IUIs? Try it out with a new place if there's new results. Yeah. I don't know. So we really right. want a baby. We want babies. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And oh, 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 if you've stayed here and you've still, you're still watching, uh, you're the best. Um, I have been nominated for an award, a WeGo Health Award. I think I said that right. So I'm going to link it in the description and in the pinned comment. And you can endorse me for one of the three awards mm -hmm. I've been nominated for. And if Brian and I win or I win, I will get a paid for a trip to Vegas oh. uh, over my birthday in October. And then, um, yeah, Brian will go with me. We'll celebrate my birthday. And yeah, we'll be able to uh, <laughs> live in Sin City. In Vegas. I've already done that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, um, we just want to say we love you guys. We're really excited to <laughs> move forward again. It's kind of bittersweet in a way. Huh? Yes. But thank you for watching. <laughs> He's done. I'm done. <laughs> Doodles.